Welcome. Let's take a look at an example where we have a tank of water that's filling at a rate of 2 over square root of t milliliters per minute for t greater than or equal to 0. Use four subintervals of equal length to approximate the amount of water that has flowed into the tank on the interval from 1 to 9. So we want four subintervals, so our change in t, or the size of an interval, our interval we want to be, will take the length of the interval of the total interval from one to nine. So we want to take the interval from one to nine, and we want to cut it into four equal partitions, or four equal subintervals. Nine minus one is eight, divided by four is 2. So when I look at my graph here, I'm looking at the interval on the x-axis, uh, or the t-axis on the horizontal axis. We're looking at the interval from 1 to 9. 9's right there. And we want four equal sized intervals, or four sub-intervals. So they'll be of length 2. So from 1 to 3, from 3 to 5, from 5 to 7, and then from 7 to 9. 1, 3, 5, 7. So those are the subintervals that we're interested in. And our units here are, of course, measured in minutes. Okay, so we want to approximate the amount of water that has flowed into the tank on the interval. Okay, so notice that our function, R of t, the rate function, has units of milliliters per minute, and that our horizontal axis has units of minutes. So let's start by using rectangles created using the left endpoints of each interval to approximate the amount of water in the tank. So visually, we're looking at rectangles that look roughly like this. And so we can see that we're going to get an overestimate of the water in the tank because of um, the decreasing nature of this function and the fact that we're using left endpoints. Now, we all need to know the height of each of these rectangles. And so the height of this first rectangle will be F at 1, or I'm sorry, R at 1, because our function is named R. The height of this second rectangle will be r at 3. Um, the height of our third rectangle, I didn't even draw that right, will look like this. And that will be r at 5. And then the height of our last rectangle will be r at 7. OK. So then our approximation for the amount of water in the tank, so I guess we could call this W for water in the tank. So W would be approximately R at 1. Now the, that would be the height of the rectangle, and the width of the rectangle is 2, plus R at 3. 3, that's the height of the second rectangle, and it also has width of 2, plus r at 5 times 2, and r at 7 times 2. Now, our rate function is up here. So make sure that you're comfortable with r of t equaling 2 over the square root of t. So then our W, uh, the water in the tank, is 2 over the square root of 1 times 2 plus 2 over the square root of 3 times 2 plus 
2 over the square root of 5 times 2 plus 2 over the square root of 7 times 2. Now as we think about the units for what's going on here, let's just look at this first product. Uh, 2 over the square root of 1, that is milliliters per minute the units for 2 over square root of 1, and then we're multiplying that by 2 minutes. So in our units here, what we're generating is the number of milliliters. So the units here for our answer are milliliters. So the amount of water in the tank is approximately 4 over square root of 1, so 4, plus 4 over the square root of 3, plus 4 over the square root of 5, plus 4 over the square root of 7, which is approximately 9.610 milliliters. Now keep in mind that we know this is an overestimate because we're dealing with an, a decreasing function here, and we can see that using left endpoints of these intervals to do our estimates creates an overestimate of the amount of water that is actually in the tank. So now instead of using the right left endpoint of each interval, let's use the right endpoint of each interval to create our approximating rectangles. So that means that in our first interval from 1 to 3, um, the height of the inter uh, rectangle will be based on r at 3. So the height here is based on r at 3. Uh, our second interval from 3 to 5, the height of the rectangle will be based off of r of 5. Um, our third interval uh, from 5 to 7, the height of the rectangle will be based on r at 7. And then on our, in our fourth interval from 7 to 9, the height of the rectangle will be based on r of 9. So let's go ahead and um, think about how much water is in the tank. So our w, notice that the length of our intervals and the bases of each rectangle is 2. So um, for the first rectangle, we're going to have r at 3 times 2 plus r for the second rectangle, the height is r of 5 times 2 plus r of 7 times 2 plus r of 9 times 2. And again, our units here will be in terms of milliliters. So we end up with um, 2 over the square root of 3 times 2 plus 2 over the square root of 5 times 2 plus 2 over the square root of 7 times 2, plus 2 over the square root of 9 times 2. So this gives us uh, 4 over the square root of 3, plus 4 over the square root of 5, plus 4 over the square root of 7, plus 4 thirds milliliters which is approximately uh, 6.943 milliliters. Now, because this is a decreasing function and we're using the right endpoints of each subinterval, we can see that we're um, underestimating the actual water in the tank um, because endpoint of each interval will have an output value that is less than the left endpoint, less than or equal to, and therefore we're creating 
an underestimate situation here with a decreasing function using right endpoints. So in this example, we've seen that the right estimate based on four subintervals is less than the actual value, which is less than what we found with the left estimate on four subintervals. I hope you find this helpful.